Hi, I'm Rashid Okunlara, coach, speaker and author, and I want to first of all wish you a very, very happy new year. As the curtain rises on this new year, many of you may have hopes, dreams and aspirations. So I want to also give you my three tips for getting the best out of this year. One of the reasons why often people fail with goals and resolutions is often we're not holistic enough. So we don't focus on our entire life. We just focus on kicking one particular habit. We're often not strategic enough. We don't put a plan in place in terms of how we're going to achieve the things that we're wanting to achieve. And often we're not realistic enough. We don't break it down into chunks. We don't get the support that we need. We don't think what is actually doable and realistic for us. And we don't take in on board actual external factors as well. So those are my three tips. I'm going to give you um, some pointers in terms of how you can make your goals holistic, strategic and realistic. So first of all, holistic. I want you to think about your entire life. What's most important to you? Get a piece of paper and what I'm wanting you to do, instead of writing one resolution or one goal for you for your for this year overall, I want you to write one goal for you for yourself and your health. So what's one goal for you yourself and your health? One goal for your career and one goal for your home and your personal and your relationship life. So that's one for you one for your home and your re um, relationships, and one for your career. So we're being now holistic, thinking of our life as a whole. Second step is being strategic. Again, this is where we often fall down. So now you've got your um, goals, we now need to be strategic about it. Okay, so let's imagine that one of your goals was to um, uh, get a new job. And um, let's be sp specific about it. Okay, I want to become a senior manager in this particular field by December 2015. So let's imagine you're already a manager and you want to become senior manager. Okay, so what are the steps you're going to do? Okay, we'll put a plan in place. Step one, I'm going to update my CV by this particular point. I'm then going to update my LinkedIn profile by this particular point. I'm going to speak to this person, that person, and that person by this month. I am then going to um, do this research and planning by this date. I'm going to be speaking to my own boss about this particular plan to make me uh, a senior manager by this date, and so on. So you're putting a plan in place, you're putting the dates, you're putting the actions in place. So write just a one page um, strategy, perhaps for each goal. So what you're going to do and when. So you've got your plan of how you're going to get there. You can relate that not just to your career, but let's say you've been meaning to clear out the um, the uh, the garage for ages. Okay, first of all, I'm going to get this, this and this. I'm going to take these things out of the garage by this date. I'm going to paint by this date. I'm going to move this thing in by this date. And then I'm going to do that by that date. That might even just be a few sentences with dates of what you're going to do and when. So you have got your strategy. And finally, um, the third step is being realistic. So how realistic are you? Now, part of that is uh, understanding yourself. And part of that is understanding how the world changes, external factors also um, take play a part in this. Part of this is actually also making it real. So you've begun that by actually having a plan. That's part of making it real. But how can you make your goal real for you? So let's imagine that you decide, OK, I've always wanted to get fit. I want to get fit. What's realistic for you? Maybe for you, you're self-motivated and going to the gym is going to work for you. But perhaps for you, you enjoy um, doing sports or a class where there's interactivity with other people. So you feel as though you've got some momentum and some motivation. Great, then make that your goal. So make your goal around how you can make it work for you. How can you break the, each task into simple chunks? So first of all, you might think, okay, first I'm going to do this by this date, this by this date, and that by that date. Make it real for you. Make it work for you. What's the support you need? What's the help that you need? What is the uh, what is the pace in which you can go at? Some people are really good at cutting out a particular habit like that overnight. For somebody else, it might well be about, let's say you're wanting to get um, healthy. Instead of getting rid of all the bad stuff, first of all, you might want to bring in all of the good stuff, making sure you're getting your fruit and your vegetables first. What's realistic for you? How can you make it real for you? And part of making it real is also regularly stopping, looking, reviewing what's working, what's not working, and fine-tuning. So those are my three tips to make your New Year's resolutions, your goals, your aspirations, holistic, strategic, and realistic. Whatever happens, um, know that success is dependent on all sorts of factors. Happiness is just dependent on you embracing life. So all sorts of things will happen. And the secret of life, what makes somebody a great champion, is not the races that you win, it's how you pick yourself up when you lose. So every time that you clip a hurdle, adjust your stride pattern. Every time you lose a race, take the learning from the race. And that is going to make you wiser, 
that's going to make you sharper, that's going to help you understand life more and appreciate life far more. So take these, these things, the disappointments, as part of the learning too, as part of the growth too, because mark my words, you learn far more from the things that don't go well than the things that do go well. But with that in mind, I wish you every success, every happiness for this year. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.